Bueno, está ofensando. Tonight. I guarantee it ain't this one. 
And I'm going to tell you something new all along. This boy and I talked all day, texted back and forth. If you play our game, and we played hard and hard football, and you guys executed the defense. And look, they were good. They took a lot of things away that we can do and made it tough on us. But we have a lot of weapons. We have a lot of things we can do on offense. And we need everything. From the Mogador Wildcats football team, first of all, Tyler Knight. Uh, talk about the huge runs you had in the second half to catalyze the Wildcat team. Uh, we just had a talk with our line in the, at the half, and uh, we fixed things up, and then we just got things going in the second half. And how big was that run in the fourth quarter there to give Mogador the lead? It was a big game changer, it really was. It really was. And uh, I'm going to talk about the two interceptions you had there, especially the second time you had interception. Brushes up 16-9, they had a big stop, and they're starting in the red zone, then you had your second pick. So how did that feel? Just in the right place at the right time. It's all an opportunity to execute. And then you uh, housed, uh, housed an interception. Third time's the charm as far as interception goes. You housed it to clinch the game. So tell us how big it was. Uh, I got in for two plays on defense. Had to step it up and stepped up and got a pick six. And how was it playing against a Division II brush team? Mogador is a Division VI team, and they beat a Division II team. So how big is this for the community and just a victory overall before you go into PTC play? It's just a day, day in the office. With uh, Coach Matt Adorney of Mogador, Coach Adorney, talk about playing brush. You guys had not one, but two huge defensive stops, and then the game ceiling INT. So talk about well, how I, big of a I, momentum swing that was. They, they had a lot of athletes, and they were a well-disciplined football team uh, that you know outmanned us at a lot of positions tonight. Our kids did their job, especially on defense, and stayed, you know, option football, you gotta do your job, and our kids did, for the most part tonight, we made them, we made them grind and get their yards. Uh, their running back's special for a sophomore. Um, just real proud of our fight. We kept fighting. Offense wasn't pretty. And we, we, we adjusted, went to the spread, uh, and, it, and it was good to us uh, and uh, kind of turned the game for us. So our ability to you know be able to do different things offensively came up being huge tonight for us too. How big was uh, Tyler Knight's uh, go-ahead touchdown run well, to kick off the fourth? That's the that's T Knight that we know and love, and, and that's the guy that we got to have. He's a He's a, one of the best football players in Division Six. period, and uh, he, he, he showed it tonight, and he's getting healthier, which is good for us. And how big is this going into PTC play? Well, it's just huge. We're, our schedule's a bear. You know, we we uh, we had a real big letdown week last week, and uh, I think it motivated us. We knew we had a, a really good opponent coming in here tonight, so sometimes uh, it allowed us to get up off the ground, and we had to focus right away. There was no... Uh, feeling sorry for ourselves all week because of uh, how good this football team was that we had coming to town tonight. We're here with Eddie Hall of the Brush Sharks. Uh, Coach Hall, I know uh, and it, I know you wanted to come out of this with a win, but talk Absolutely. about the game in general against Mogador and Rose's big run third quarter and then Mogador uh, bounced back from that. Yeah, absolutely. So played it, you know, tight, tight game it was three nothing us, you know, at half. And we know that Mogador is a, you know, championship program. And it was something that we really wanted to come and test ourselves against because um, they, they breed that. It's that tradition, right? Something that we're trying to build towards. Um, and as we go, we come out of the third, um, you know, strike first. I really like, you know, made an adjustment. Adjustment worked. Um, you know, he, he runs hard all the time. And it was great. And then, you know, they responded. Why? Because they have a championship pedigree, right? And so they know how to win these games. You know, they go down, they score, and we keep fighting back a little bit back and forth. Um, I think we got one called back that was there. And then um, we just we just have to complete it, though, right? You know, they finish the game. It's great for them because that's what it is. And uh, um, we know what we have to do. And uh, talking about the uh, next week, going into next week, how uh, does playing a, a game against a team like Mogador, like, propel you momentum wise going on into the rest of the season yeah because there's a lot to correct right so we'll take a look at it they do they do right things right um they're always in the right spot they made sound tackles and um you know even offensively they're just tough so you go through a team like that um you start to understand okay these are where i need to get better um kick you in the mouth and now do you want to respond because they lost last week um in a, in a tough game and responded so are we going to respond and, and i think we will i think